Odisha Prime Minister Narendra Modi ji. Namaskara. I know that we don't have a lot in common. I mean, we're probably about as different as two people can be. Gender, generation, naan maatadu baashe, nimi ashto nartha gala, maybe neev maatadu baashe antu nanak ashto nartha gala. And I guess that's really the beauty in unity and diversity, right? Maybe the unity part is that we can actually sit down and listen to each other. This is actually this thing that I wanted to understand. This question that I wanted to ask you. What is marriage to you, sir? Is it gender roles and expectations? Two children and obligations? Or is it holding on to traditions? These ancient traditions just shrouded in mystery. Don't question it. Don't change it. Just let it be. I mean, it's worked so far. Why change it now? Well, because half my friends have left this country, our country, your, your country. And I'm just looking for another way. How? How can I make calls and wedding preparations in the language that I've spoken my entire life? How can I maybe look at this person who I love so endlessly and call them my wife? How can I go to the house that I've lived in for the past 20 years with my partner's hand held in mine and not so much fear? A couple of rings, a little bit of celebration, a touch of pomp without permanent foreign relocation. To me, you know, marriage is cooking dinner and making sure that there's always enough for two. It's giving up the last spoon of ice cream not all the time, but just a few. When it's late after work, I go to pick them up. When I make tea, I always give them the bigger cup. But, you know, God forbid that you call that a marriage. It's making sure the geezer is on because I don't want them to have to wait. It's liking all their favorite songs, even the ones that I used to hate. It's folding up their clothes or doing any chore really that they loathe. But, you know, God forbid you call that a marriage. It's learning words in a language that I'm unfamiliar with, just so that, you know, maybe when I speak, it makes them smile a bit. It's reminding them to drink water. It's reaching for all the dabbas on the top shelf because my partner is just a little bit shorter. But, you know, God forbid that you call that a marriage. Once again, I must ask you, sir, What is marriage to you? Because because it definitely can't be kindness, love and care. Because then you would take one look at us and see that we're not treated fair.